hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to set up google ads conversion tracking for lead form submission with google tag manager this is my client website and here you can see the contact form and i'll set up google ads conversion tracking for this form so that when user visit the website from google ads and submit the form google ads can count it by doing this your campaign will be better optimized and will deliver better result and it's my client google ads account he already gave me this account access and i will bullar a lots of thing here sorry for that but i will make it easier for you so that you can set up easily okay now let's see how to set up for setup Google Ads conversion tracking for lead form submission, you need to just follow three easy steps. Step 1. Create Google Tag Manager account and install it with your website. And I have already created this GTM account and install it with my site. Now you have to follow step 2 that is create Google Ads conversion. And let's see how you can create conversion in Google Ads. For that first open a Google Ads account then select goals and here you can see conversion select summary then scroll down and press on create conversion action. then select conversion on a website and here you have to add your website url so select add url and here you have to paste also you can write here your website domain name and here i just paste my domain name and click on scan now you have to select done and then you can see uh, some option like this you have to select a uh, submit lead form then select setup and you have to select here create a manual event and now you need to write here your event name i mean your conversion name and conversion even is the same so for that i'm going to write here contact form submit and then i like to add here gtm for that i can remember easily and then use event then you have to press save and continue after that you can see you are almost done so you scroll down a little bit then press on agree and finish Okay, perfect. Now you can see uh, your conversion is ready. Now you have to select uh, your uh, conversion action like this event. And then scroll down a little bit. Here you can see option tag setup and then select tag manager. Here you will see uh, your conversion ID also your conversion label. Okay, so your step 2 is done. I mean you are already create your conversion in Google Ads and now you have to follow step 3 that is create tag trigger in gtm so for that you have to go preview from your google tag manager account and submit your form for test purpose because when we submit this form we can see which event push you in gtm summary section okay so i'm going to uh, submit my this form okay then press on submit okay uh, contact form submission done now if i go tag manager uh, we can see in summary section push elementary form submit you can see here and we need to create new trigger with this name and open your tag manager account go trigger section click on new then you have to select configuration trigger type will be custom event so here event name will be this name as you copy from gtm preview mode and here you need to write your trigger name uh, for that you can remember easily so i like to write here contact form submit trigger and then you can save this trigger okay so trigger creation done as you can see in the summary section the elementor form submit event is appearing however when you are preview your website and submit the form the event might be not show to make the event appear you may need to use an event listener code okay before using event listener you must first understand how your form is built okay uh, to check this first open your uh, form section and inspect it and look at the form tag class uh, if you see elementor form writing there it means the form was creating using elementor and you can see here the deep tag uh, elementor form field uh, appear elementor level that means this form built by elementor okay so for push data layer into gtm preview mode you have to use event listener here you can see i prepare a small sheet for marketing tag plan when i work for client i just first prepare sheet like this here you can see i uh, create this tag uh, with all pages trigger okay so for that we can see custom event in gtm preview mode okay this uh, tag help 
push data layer into GDM Premium mode. Okay, I hope you understand this. And don't worry, I'll put this even listener in my video description. So please check out the video description and you will get this. Okay, so we are already created Tigger. Now we need to create tag. So go tag section, select new, then tag configuration and select Google Ads, then select conversion linker. Tigger will be all pages. Then you can save this Tigger. Okay, so conversion linker add done. Now we need to create for lead form submission tag. And here you need to select Google Ads conversion tracking. And here you can see you have to put conversion ID, conversion label. So open your Google Ads account. Then here you can find conversion ID. So you have to just first copy full conversion ID carefully. Then put here. And then again you have to copy conversion label. So I already copy here. Then paste here conversion label. And here you can see conversion value, transaction ID, currency. You don't need to put here anything because it's a lead form submission conversion. So you can avoid it and it's not necessary. Okay, then you have to select triggering. So scroll down a little bit, select triggering option, and you have to select here contact form submit trigger, and then write your tag name. Then save it. Perfect. Now you are already create your tag and time to check our tag properly work or not so for that we have to go preview and submit our lead form and let's see our tag fire or not so i'm going to submit this yeah form submission done now if i go the summary section we can see our google ads contact form submit tag is fire that means our setup properly working so yeah that's it that's how you can set up google ads conversion tracking for lead form submission I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think this video is helpful for you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want, you can share this video with your community. Thanks for watching.